Hello, my name is Thomas Poshetek, and in this video, I want to show you how you can integrate, how you can connect Win Automation with UFLOWs. Now, if you're not following Microsoft announcements very carefully, or if, you, or if you haven't watched my previous video yet, then you might know already that Win Automation is a new tool that Microsoft has just added to their RPA suite, and that any customer that has a trial or RPA per user premium plan can actually start using. Win Automation is a tool that is created, that is built by the Soft Automotive company, the company that Microsoft announced uh, that has acquired just like two days ago. So there is yet no very tight integration between Win Automation and UI flows. However, this automation, this integration is very desired and very needed. Why? Because Win Automation just gives you right away, straight, straight out of the box, a set of functionalities, a set of um, features and actions that actually helps you to very easily automate your desktop applications and your web app applications um, in a way, in a scope that UI flows will not let you in a very, I think, long distance, very long time span. So using Win Automation can actually start doing this right away. In my previous video, I showed you what the Win Automation tool is looking like, what is was what is it built of, and as well how you can create your very first easy process. And for this purpose, I've created or rebuilt the solution that I'm usually showing during uh, my sessions. So how to create a new record in Contoso invoicing application. So that is the process that I built. Now, today there is, as I said, no integration, no out-of-the-box straight integration between UI flows or the Power Platform and Win Automation. However, what Microsoft is advising in their documentation is that to trigger Win Automation process from uh, Power Automate, we should invoke UI flows that actually triggers the command line, and in the command line, enter enters a command to trigger the Win Automation uh, process. Now, using the command line, we are as well able to pass the input parameters. So here you can see that the first step in my process is to actually read the command line arguments that are passed uh, to the command. And then it is assigning the first argument to account field, second to contact, third to amount, and last to status. So this is very easy. You can very easily pass this way input parameters, but how to actually get the output from the Win Automation run? You know, I was thinking about that very carefully and I thought, okay, so maybe I'll just put uh, the action that is going to read output values from uh, in UI flows from the desktop um, for like 20 seconds or 30 seconds. Maybe I'll write that invoice number that I want to actually get out uh, in the notepad session and then UI flows is going to read that notepad value. But then I was thinking that neither of those ideas is very, very, let's say enterprise ready because actually opening a notepad and typing in their values that we want to return to the UI flows and then to Power Automate doesn't seem like a good idea. Huh? So then I thought, hey, what else can we do? Because in UI flows today, there is actually no action saying wait for a field to change, where for a value to appear, wait for anything. So we actually can't pause UI flows until something happens on a desktop. Then I thought it's not a good idea to actually have both write and read in the same process. So I decided to split them. Now, once you split the two processes, the landscape of possibilities is actually very wide. So for example, you can then write the output to a SharePoint item. You can create a CDS record. You can put, you know, you can create a file on the OneDrive. So actually you can do anything that could trigger another flow. I did a different thing. So I've created a second flow that is actually been triggered on an HTTP request. And in my process, the last action is actually calling my flow URL and passing this invoice number as an input parameter. So this way, one flow is actually triggering Win Automation and passing values 
the input uh, input uh, parameters, input values, and then the second one is being called out from win automation process and receives the output parameters. So let me show you how it works. In my process, I simply okay. Let me edit it. In my UI flow, in my UI flows, I simply get those four values out of the trigger action, and then what it does is first launching the command line console, and then is sending these command. So this is the command that actually triggers the Win Automation application, but then after it puts this command, this is first part of command, it adds additional values. So it adds the parameters and, and let's say encapsulates it with the quotes and spaces and all these special characters just to make this final string, the final command string uh, proper. And the last thing it does is simply hitting the return button. So actually is executing this comment. And that's it. This is that very simple. And actually, this is what the first process is doing. Now, the second process, what it does, is also very simple in this scenario. It's being triggered on HTTP post. And what I want is to simply output the body. All right? So let me show you how it works. Um, let's say John Snow this time again and make it work. All right, now once I run it, you'll notice that there will appear a console so that UI flows will call my computer again through the on-premises gateway. Then through the on-premises gateway, it will call the uh, command line console and it will start inputting the command. And then once it hits enter, you will notice here in this bottom right corner information that actually the win automation has been triggered and that is being executed. All right. So now grab popcorn, grab coffee, and watch the show. So now you can see that the um, UI flows has actually already triggered the command line console. And it already is inputting the command to trigger the win automation. With the parameters, with the values that I have passed through well, the manual trigger of the Power Automate. Now, you can see that in the bottom right corner, there is information that the Win Automation is already running. It has triggered the contours of invoicing, is putting all the data. And in just 12 seconds, it has completed its execution. So now let me go back to my, uh, my flows. And let's see if this one has already been create, uh, executed. Okay, so 12 seconds ago, there has been a Win Automation uh, I mean, the flow executed or triggered by the win automation. And here it is. Here is the output from the win automation process. So this way, I mean, this is one of the ways you can actually make this communication between Power Platform, actually, and win automation happen. You can, you can choose any other way to trigger the second flow to pass these values. I mean, if you want to, you can as well just put um, a second scope in your UI flows that is going to wait for like 50 seconds. And then after 50, sec 50 seconds, we'll read that value out of the, for example, notepad. That's really up to you. I wanted to show you the solution that I'm thinking is really a very stable and reliable and that you can use in enterprise solutions. Thank you very much for watching. I encourage you to follow my, uh, my YouTube channel and as well, you follow me on my Twitter and yeah, if you want to contact me or if you have any questions, simply leave them as comments below the video. Thank you very much again.